Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born but built for theme parks and welcome to another theme park newsroom update. Where today, where we talk about the Alton Towers Resort because they have been putting up some construction walls. Uh, now, we do have a photo via Tower Street, which we are going to share with you uh, from one of the sites. Uh, however, there's a couple, two, maybe even three attractions in CBB's land up for discussion. Now, before we get started, guys, make sure you do like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe if you are new around here, click the notification bell. So you never miss YouTube video. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now, guys, let's go into the details on what is being closed off at the Alton Towers Resort, which could lead to announcements about 2022. So as you can see from the photo, shout out to Tower Street fan Brandon for the photo officially taken, and shout out to Tower Street uh, for putting up the photo as well. Now, these purple walls are around the Tree Food Tom playground. Now, the show has stopped broadcasting on the CBB's channel for a while now. And obviously, this is just one site in question because there is some talk about some other attractions. Charlie and Lola's uh, attraction, Charlie and Lola's Moon Squirters attraction, uh, that has been talked about uh, as that has not been open since the pandemic came in. Uh, so, Charlie and Lola's been a big discussion point as well. Mr. Bloom's allotment has also been a massive talking point as that has not apparently operated for a very long time. Now, obviously, this does leave question after question as to what could be happening, and I've got a few interesting theories. So, one of the theories, then, is a Peter Rabbit mini area. Now, this has all come about because of the new standalone attraction opening next year next to Madden Two Swords in Blackpool along the promenade. This is just one factor in the theory, uh, but the other factor being Peter Rabbit's Hop, which your family drop towers, which opened just a couple of years ago in that area. Now, removing the tree, well, not really removing, but retheming the playground and retheming the allotment into a Peter Rabbit interactive attraction could provide an interesting Peter Rabbit mini area. Another theory of mine is the removal of Mr. Bloom's allotment and the tree food tom. And I'm not talking about refurbishment, I'm talking about demolition and the relocation of the Peter Rabbit's Hibbity Hop ride over to where Charlie and Lola's once stood could provide for an interesting site and a big site indeed. Now, this links into something that people have spoken about recently as well, and that is the rumored relocation of the driving school from the world of David Williams or the little uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land mini area. Uh, I won't really call it Cloud Cuckoo Land, I'll just call it a little mini section. I think driving school is sort of in its own mini section of the park now. Uh, but as the world of David Williams expands, uh, rum uh, rumors of the removal and relocation of the driving school became apparent from a few different sources over the last week. Now, obviously, these are two very interesting theories. Of course, we could be looking at individual attractions rather than a Peter Rabbit mini area. And of course, there are different shows up for debate, like Hey Dougie, Swashbuckle, which has just been renewed for a brand new series on CBBS, and loads more. So now I'm going to share my thoughts on what I think it could be. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages. That is speaking about the closed sites, should we say, in CBB's land. Of course, Tree Food Tom's Training Camp, uh, Charlie and Lola's Moon Squirts and Green Drops. I think that's the full title. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> it's hard to remember that name. It really, really was. Um, and, of course, Mr. Bloom Allotments has well been rumoured for closure as well. That's three attractions, two of them really close together, another one in a different area of the park. I think the three could be linked in some way, and this links to my second theory about putting the Peter Rabbit's Hibbity Hop right. If you're not intending to put a Peter Rabbit mini area in there, move the Hibbity Hop, you know, tear down the Moon Squirters building, put the Hibbity Hop in there, in that, in that little area, and then you'll have Mr. Bloom's allotment, the Tree Futon training camp, and the empty plot of land where the old Hibbity Hop site was. Of course, 
you know, the downside to that theory is that Hibbity Hop's only been there for a couple of years. So, you know, there is a downside to that theory happening because, of course, you know, it's only been in that site for two years. It's very, very recent. So, obviously, there is that thing to go with it. But if, say, you move that to the Charlie and Lola site, that's that site taken care of. Then you've got this empty plot of land with the allotment and the training camp. You remove both of them, and like I said, I don't mean refurbish, I mean tear down the sites completely. You've got a massive site there. And this is open to the driving school. Now, obviously, like I said, the driving school's been in Cloud Cuckoo Land, or now known as the World of David Williams, for many, many years. You know, we're looking at over just nearly 15 years. Nearly 15 years it's been here, of course. It came to the park uh, in 2007 in the uh, in the old Cred Street as the Piorgio Driving School. Uh, who remembers the? Who remembers? Uh, I think it's Dolly the Lollipop Lady. That whole safety video around it. I really want to try and find a high quality version of that video and play it at some point on the channel because, the, uh, yeah. And I and I've got the I've got the MP3 of that safety video actually um, saved on my music player. You know. People have Drake, people have Jason Derulo, I have the driving school theme from Alton Towers, that's my music. <laughs> um, but no, the soundtrack and the video for that was just amazingly done. And of course we had the re-theme in 2017, you know, 10 years after the driving school opened, we had the whole Towers Loving Care program, the driving school was re-themed into the Cuckoo Cars driving school, the same year the Hex reopened, and... You know, that was off the back of the Smiler incident in 2015. You know, the Towers Loving Care program over a three year period from 2016 to 2018, ending with the opening of the Wicker Man um, coaster. And, you know, like I said, the driving school's been through a lot of history with that area. Cred Street, Cloud Cuckoo Land, now the world, David Williams, watching these uh, new attractions come to life further down, and the driving school just standing alone in its own mini area. Now, I think it's time to see the driving school given a new site and i'd like to see it go and see bb slam with a whole new theme um the thing is though about this one how long would the relocation of the driving school take you've got to think you aren't just going to dig up the old foundations of the driving school lift it and relocate it that's not gonna happen unless it's done in a certain way which i don't know about comment down below if you do I don't think it's going to happen. You'd have to tear up the site in question. You would have to uh, pour new foundations in, completely do the new track, and you'd have a brand new driving school from scratch. So that would be the way you'd probably do it. And then with the driving school site, maybe this opens up the opportunity for a Williams World themed playground in that site to make up for the fact there's no tree food top. Now, of course, the first theory was of course a whole sort of re-theme I guess. So a re-theme of the playground, re-theme of the allotment, and of course having the hibbity hop in between would make sense to have a Peter Rabbit mini area. And of course the, the new Blackpool standalone attraction next to Madden Two Swords uh, along the promenade for next year as well, the new one million pound attraction that was announced. Um, sort of goes along with that theory. It's a very Merlin thing to do to invest in an IP in multiple properties. That's a very Merlin thing to do. Not against it, you know, they make their own decisions, but that's a Merlin thing to do. So, a Peter Rabbit mini area in CBeebies Land, of course with the release of the second film as well, it makes, it makes a hell of a lot of sense. So, I wouldn't be against either option. You know, the driving school coming up to CBeebies Land or a Peter Rabbit mini area with some new attractions. As for Charlie and Lola, if the Hibbity Hop's not gonna, not gonna go there and the building's not gonna be taken down, I could just see a brand new uh, live show go into there or something like that, or just a new interactive attraction. But bear in mind, you've now got Nina's Science Lab, you've got Charlie and Lola, you've got Mr. Bloom's Alarm, you've got Tree Food Tom. That's four sites, SBNO, or about to be removed. That's a lot of space to develop, and I think CB Bazan is not done with developing. As the shows keep, you know, evolving, they're going to keep developing CBeebies Land. Front, back, centre. They're going to keep developing it. So, this opens up some different possibilities. I think it's pretty much confirmed now from all of this that 2022 will be another family year for Alton Towers Resort. Maybe it's building up to two or three years time we get the hopefully Secret Weapon uh, 9 project, which, you know, I can't wait for that one. Whatever that may be, 
wherever that may be i can't wait for that and it's gonna be really interesting to see what it is but i think it's pretty clear 2022 will be a family year once again uh, but there we are guys thank you very very much for watching this video discussing all about this make sure you do like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss youtube video go and check out yesterday's interview with the ceo of far up summerland niels jorgen jensen uh, about the phoenix roller coaster really good interview i can't wait to do more interviews like that Really love doing that. It, Niels is such a wonderful guy. Shout out to Niels once again. And uh, fingers fingers crossed, fingers crossed, uh, we'll know more about the opening day of Phoenix and uh, booking that, booking those tickets. Uh, but there we are, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coast Chal. Keep them the coast life. Let's keep getting closer and closer to 3,000 subscribers. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a CBBS fantastic day. All you kids that love CBBS, you're gonna love this year, next year.